Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Sagittarius. If Sagittarius is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. All right, knock, knock, knock. And I apologize, you might hear the cat chowing away. <laughs> so, um, apparently it's a good time to eat, which usually whenever I start doing my readings it is. So, our card tonight is the three of discs. This has to do with work, works. <laughs> um, so this is all about goals, growth, development, building, skills, personal talents. So it seems you are working on something, maybe going back to school, maybe learning some new skill set maybe putting it to use in a new job or maybe you are working your way up into a position that you've had your eye on okay let's see where should we start here um i want to look at the deer that's it's a beautiful beautiful uh formation here we have the um the horns and they're glorious and they're leading right up into that spiritual metaphysical zone um, beautiful uh, kind of posture lots of confidence feeling strong um, kind of shoulders up chest out feeling powerful and that makes sense because I think you know you are um, doing something that you feel like you know what you're doing you are confident you are talented um you are driven you have a lot of motivation and so um the project you're working on the maybe the new creative process you're working on um the position in your job um maybe taking on some kind of um i don't know planning something or you know, working within your family to get something done. Um, whatever it is, you are feeling like, I know what I'm doing. I have the, you know, information and ability to get this stuff done. And so you're coming in there and you are kind of that um, godsend, <laughs> you know. Um, you really are able to communicate the things that need to get done. You know how to do them and you are really helping push this thing through. Now, I do think that this is a situation where you are working with other people. Okay, so I think this is a project that, or, you know, something. Um, I'm just gonna keep calling it a project because that's the easiest thing, but it could be, you know, quite literally anything. Um, making plans for a family vacation or, you know, um, helping get a wedding together or I don't know, something. It could be something at work, whatever it is. But I'm going to call it a project because that is the easier way to say it. So um, I think you've been working on a project with um, some, somebody or some people, a group of people, um, that you don't usually kind of collaborate with. Okay. And, um, here I'm seeing kind of this larger, uh, person with their arms out. It looks like kind of almost like it's raining and they're catching the rain in their hands. Um, but then we also have kind of these smaller figures here and here, and they're kind of behind this larger this larger person and um i also see kind of this little fire right here so 
in my mind, what this says is that you are kind of in the lead role. You know what you're doing. You are kind of good at delegating. Um, you're good at delegating and make it like seem like you're not delegating. You're good at taking the lead without making it seem like you're taking the lead. Um, I think that this is maybe a more uh, um, informal kind of thing that's going on. So I don't think that there are clearly defined roles, but that doesn't matter because you're good at managing. You're good at, um, you know, kind of uh, taking care of all the moving parts, figuring out who is good at what, um, you know, just making sure, overseeing, supervising, but also um, being the one that really has the most understanding of the thing that is happening, okay? I think this is something you have done before. Um, you have uh, a deeper connection to it. And for some reason, I keep thinking that this has something to do with like paperwork maybe, or um, I kind of wonder if it's like getting, helping somebody get their affairs in order. Um, maybe they, there's nothing going on. They're not sick necessarily, but maybe they're getting older and they kind of need to figure out what they're going to be um, doing if something were to happen or, um, you know, God forbid, if they passed, um, passed on, you know, they want their, uh, their wishes to be clear and put on paper. And I think that it could be something like this. Um, or, you know, maybe you are in just the talks of helping somebody get this going. Um, and I, I wonder, I often think that a lot of Sagittarius people are in, um, kind of like social work, medical field, um, kind of like, uh, you know, like a care home kind of place or uh, a place or like a therapeutic place, um, some kind of, or counseling, something where you are assisting people with their health in some way, right? Their well-being. And so I think you have um, kind of a deeper understanding of the importance of kind of getting your things and, you know, in order, um, making sure that it's, you know, filed on paper, um, all of that stuff. And it's a lot, it's a lot to, um, navigate if you have no background in that, but then having somebody who kind of understands these things is really, um, so helpful. And so, um, I feel like, uh, you know, in your ability to kind of do this, it, it's really kind of, um, setting a tone with the people who are around you. They're really seeing like, oh wow, uh, they really know what they're doing. Like, and I almost feel like this is going to kind of maybe open some new doors for you, especially if this is something within your job. Um, and maybe this isn't like particularly like part of your direct work, but you have a lot of good advice for somebody around you. So I think that, um, you know, this could maybe help set you up for a different position or even just doing the, you know, going through these motions, being able to kind of assist in this, it maybe is kind of making you think like, oh, maybe I should go into a different, you know, a different field. Maybe I would you know, benefit from, um, helping people set up their estate and, you know, or set up their, um, you know, whatever their burial wishes and things like this, um, or whatever it is, you know, I mean, it could be anything I do for some reason, this is just coming to mind, but it could, like I said, it could be wedding planning. It could be event planning. This could be, um, I don't know, helping somebody find insurance, <laughs> you know, which if you know how to do that, then my goodness, you are a genius because <laughs> who knows how to do any of that? If, unless that's like the specific field that you're in. Um, 
so uh, I think that you know during through this process it's really widening widening your perception of yourself of your abilities of your interests um, it's interesting in life when we kind of you know we've all worked jobs that we just do them because we need the money we do them because somehow we ended up there uh, maybe we thought we would love doing whatever that job is and we kind of just continue on with it it becomes kind of tedious um, you kind of, you know, just wake up in the morning and think, okay, I got to do all this again, you know, and it's like, you're just kind of going through the motions, but then something comes up in your life that you maybe know a little bit about and, you know, you're helping your neighbor figure out some kind of planning or something and you think, wow, I could actually make this like my work I could do this every single day and I you know I wouldn't feel like um it's such a chore I could find some ease in doing this helping people um helping myself <laughs> you know mentally emotionally and hopefully financially um but you know, I feel like the other part of this is, and I know I've been sitting here with this, and we have, um, it looks like two people kind of holding this larger, it almost looks like a big circle, right? Um, but they're both holding up one in, an end on each side, okay? And there is really this mutual aid, mutual, um, work going into a, a balance and I feel that this process you are creating a new bond with somebody okay um or a deeper bond a deeper understanding a way to really um communicate with whoever this person or people are um especially if it's like your family you know um I think <laughs> what comes to mind for some reason um is when you know the when everybody started getting um like internet and and wireless internet and modems and things in their house right and we all had um family members who probably still do that just could not figure out how to like reset the internet if it wasn't working or whatever and then you always had that like you know, teenager or young adult who was good with computers or whatever, and they would have to come over and help like grandma and grandpa or, or whoever, aunt and uncle, um, with their computer stuff. And, um, it was like, oh, this kid is a genius, you know, and it opened up kind of a channel of connection in that way, because although it wasn't like, you know, the biggest favor um, for the person who didn't know what they were doing and they needed the help, it felt like, you know, such a help. And what a nice person to come and help me. And there was a nice connection there, um, being of service, this kind of thoughtfulness, and having the know how, okay? Um, having that skill set that the other person didn't have. And so um, I feel like, you know, this is kind of like that, different, but I feel like it's kind of this nice bond that is coming together and um, really being able to, um, you know, aid one another and uh, be in harmony you know, it's, I feel like if this is like a family member, this is really a nice, it feels like a nice place to be, you know, just kind of, um, and you know, I almost feel like there's kind of this desire to be seen and, um, through, through being seen by somebody you care about, um, because of your abilities, your, um, intelligence, your, you know, your cleverness, your, um, you know, 
drive and motivation and willingness to help and all these things. That feels really nice. It's not everything and, you know, whatever. You don't have to have that. But when it does come, it does not feel terrible, okay? So I feel like that kind of um, wanting to be seen is fulfilled by this. And there's almost this little jolt of life, I think. And that's not necessarily to do with, you know, approval or being needed, but I do think that finding something that makes you feel empowered is so important, okay? And it doesn't matter what it is, okay? If it's because you know how to reset the cable modem thing or, you know, if you know how to fix a car, change a tire, make a beautiful meal, you know, or how to um, set up somebody's medical insurance, <laughs> whatever, you know. Um, those are empowering things and they're useful. And um, when you can help somebody with that and be of service, it is a very fulfilling feeling, right? Okay, so I also want to look, we have a 15 here, okay, we have kind of this beautiful flower, it almost looks like a, um, it looks like a chalice and a flower, we have a person standing upon it, I feel like this is very much um, emotional blossoming, blossoming, but also emotional, um, having a wonderful emotional container right? And I think that this has to do with that kind of feeling of self-empowerment. When we have this vessel that we create, that we can put our emotions, our um, sense of, uh, you know, self-worth, um, our, uh, ar it's a rising sense of motivation and um, just kind of propelling you forward to do more of what you love, what you care about. Um, that is a beautiful vessel to obtain, to create. And so I feel kind of just like standing on top of that and standing on top of the world, feeling, um, you know, very very much like you're activated by this work that you are doing. Okay. And then let's see. We also have a two. A lot of numbers tonight. My other readings are full of numbers too. We have a little owl here. Okay. And um, with the owl, it makes me think there is this feeling of wisdom on top of everything else. There's just a deeper sense of confidence and wisdom. I think that you've gone into a cycle of um, finding your stride within the work that you want to do, that you are doing, but also... Um, kind of a deeper uh, posture of knowing and wisdom and um, just feeling almost like m a little more um, I was gonna say like stately but just kind of uh, somebody who um, can communicate well within this realm of your interests Okay, so it's like you kind of go into a, um, a zone of being um, somebody who is almost like um, a very well-spoken advocate or um, kind of um, diplomatic about the things that you are um, interested in. Uh, you know, and you're, and the beautiful thing is that you can communicate in a way that other people understand who have like no, um, you know, basis in whatever is going on. So you are really kind of in this like, uh, role of enlightener as well, initiated, being initiated and initiating. Okay. And... We have a little heart. I just feel like it's a happy, there's like a happiness here and just a, I don't know, like being like 
being stoked about something. <laughs> we have a two as well here. So we have two twos. And, um, yeah, and let's go ahead and look at down here. I feel like there's a lot of gifts from the universe coming. Um, and I feel like it's just kind of, I mean, it's so much like, you know, the Trinity here. We have um, kind of this beautiful triangle coming together. Um, just the activation of those foundational parts um, really really feeling like a sense of um, it is like the beginning of a completion, not the end, 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 but there is kind of um, a larger goal in sight, right? And so um, you're kind of, you know, coming up on that first, uh, um, what is it called? Summit, right? Not the, not the, you have not, not the top, 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 but the first little, baby one and you're getting up there and you're looking up and you're thinking this is doable it might be a lot it's going to be a lot but I know that I have the ability and so the work needs to be done and it will continue to be done you are very blessed by you know that very balanced intelligence um, you know that kind of cosmic uh, consciousness flowing through and feeling just, I don't know, uh, a great lightness of self emanating from the interior out. And I think that is making you also quite approachable. Um, so, uh, I think you're just in a wonderful place with yourself, with those who are around you. And, um, you know, there's not really any sense of conflict going on, which is nice. So kind of a, a, a nice change of pace, I feel like. So Sagittarius, I want to say thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for allowing me to bring you these messages. It is always such an honor to do these readings. Uh, if you would be so kind as to like the video, it helps us get into the algorithm and that helps us get out into the universe, <laughs> basically, um, gets us to more people and we're growing the channel and, um, you know, I appreciate that so much. So if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Other than that, if you want to leave a comment, I read every single one of them. Um, it might take me a day or two to get back, but um, I do read them. They are very touching. Uh, the support means so much. Uh, and I find that so many, so many of you are so generous with your personal stories um, how you're, you know, how you're doing, how you're feeling, being open, and um, not only that, supporting one another. Um, I love seeing uh, people kind of get along and cheer each other on in the comments there. I think that that's a wonderful um, act of community and being of service to each other, lifting each other up, and um, that makes me super, like, I don't know. <laughs> a, a little bit emotional and happy to see that you don't always see people behaving that way on the internet so um, I like to keep that kind of energy uh, in this community or a little tiny sliver of the um, of the internet here so anyhow I want to thank you thank you thank you and we will talk again in just a few days